Okay, as I promised, there's a part three. So I'm going to do part three, and it's maybe taking a long time, but it's okay because I can speak my heart. 650,000 is what the IEC wants as a deposit for us to contest the elections. But for every person that wants to be part of this, we need you to make a commitment and say, I take a seat for Jesus. That's what I'm asking you. If you're a Jew, please say, I take a seat for the God of the Bible, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then I'd like to say, let us join hands together. Um, I want to speak in Afrikaans for a second. For me, for all the Buddhists, and there was a fietsrit van af Oeslone na Kaapstad vir julle. Um, ons was vier gewees, wat fiets gereid, van die Heere dit geroep, langs die kus, op die N2, daar was een rede vir dit. En die Heere is bezig om te praat met die boere van ons land. Um, ek gaan een ander recording maak, maar ek wil net vir jou vluchtig sê, die Heere praat van die kooi san, ek roek by die kooi san, ek weet, julle praat ook Afrikaans, so dit is hoe kom ek my taal verander, Die Heere praat van die kooi sain en die praat van die Afrikaner, die boere. Hy sê, dit is nie nie, nie die boere wat in die land werk nie. Hy praat met elke persoon wat Afrikaans praat. So, ek wil hee julle met my contact. Dit is baie, baie belangrik. Roep my, dat ek um, by julle kan uitkom. Ek vraag net, julle moet net my petrol betaal, dat ek by julle kan uitkom. Die Heere het een plan met ons land. En ek sal dit graag, graag met jou deel. As jy dink, ons gaan na oorlog toe, Maar die Heere vir my gesê het, war of wout. So dit is een keerse wat ons moet maak. En ek vraag die kooi saan, die boere en die kooi saan, die Heere praat, vat handen saan, dit is baie belangrik. Maar jylle moet dit doen in die Heere. Dit is nie um, tyd om nou te praat, ons gaan nou oorlog doen. Ons gaan die land claim vir die Heere. En die, en die kooi saan het volreg om hier die land te claim. Ek wil nie hier dit moet een... Uh, 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 succession, succession wees soos wat hulle klaar gedoen het, maar as hulle dit gedoen het, dit is hulle manier wat hulle moet doen, ek kom hier tegen die kooi sê, en dit is hulle land. Wat ek probeer sê is, boere, daar is een story, waar die Heere van praat, wat so awesome is, wat jylle twee so belangrijk maak vir die land, en dit is ons toekomst. Ek staan, ek, ek maak stare op, ek weet God gaan op vir ons red, ek het, um, oor om te hoor sy vleister, want sy vleister is by die keer baie, baie klein. Maar ek wil jou vraag, wat die Heere gesê, met um, 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 Kain en Eivel, sorry, ek sê dit nou in Engels, maar die Heere het vir, vir Abel gesê, um, are you your brother's keeper? En die Heere praat van die kooi zijn, baie, baie sterk. Die Heere wil ons land skoon maak. Ek wil hier julle met hande vat, met die kooi sain, waar jy kan. Ek gaan saam met julle bid vir ons land. Dit is ons uitweg, dit is nie die enigste uitweg nie, maar dit is een van die sterkpunte. We need to heal the land. Ons, ons moet hierdie land skoon maak. I'd just like to say, I spoke to the Afrikaans speaking people, not because I don't like anybody else. God gave me a message for the Afrikaner, for the Boers. So that is why I've spoken to them in their language. And that what I've said to them is God has got a plan with the Khoisan and he's got a, a plan with the Boers, with Afrikaans-speaking people. And of course with the Khoisan because they speak Afrikaans as well. They have their own language, but God has given me a message for them and I'd like to take it to them. I'd like them to invite me and I'd like to share what God has got for this country. En dan wil ek net um, verder vir die manne vir Wien Afrikaans praat met die manne van ons huisgesinne. Manne, bring jou familie terug na Jesus toe. Ek vraag jou, dit is wat hy soek. Dit is hoe kom ons hierdie situasie in sit. As jy altyd na die Israelite gekyk het in die Bijbel, dit was rarig daar vir ons om te sien. Die Heer het gesê, kom terug na my toe. Elke keer is die Israelite nie teruggekom het na die Heere, het God sy vijande nader aan, aan die mens, aan die Israelite gebring. Om hulle te laat besef, hulle het, hulle het heeltemal verdwaal van God af. En dit is wat God probeer um, sê vir ons land. 
Jetzt kann ich nicht beten, Männer. Jetzt kann ich die Bibel aufmachen. Und ich kann mich profitieren. Hier kann für ihr Weisheit geben für ihr Kinder. Hier kann für ihr Liebe geben für ihr Frau. Hier kann uns bei mir Kai bringen, um ein Land zu restaurieren. Das ist nicht möglich, um zu praten, namens die Vater. Von da ist bei mir Menschen, die bei mir Kai ist, da weiter. Und ihr wollt nicht bekleiden. Bekleiden hat nicht gewerkt. Denkt nicht, wie ihr auf Schule war. Und ihr Bube hat ja geschlagen. Oder ihr wisst, dass ihr ein von den Bube hat da eine Veränderung gekommen. Nein, das hat nicht. Jemand hat es hier gekriegt. Und das, was ich viele will sehen, neu in mir, um neu in Platz zu kommen. Neu in mir, bring ein paar Menschen bei mir, die sie erst kommen und praten mit uns über die Art von den Vater. Ich bin ein bisschen radikal, so verschwinde ich mich, aber das ist, als ich vier aufkomme auf mich. Und dann muss ich nicht sehen, was ich auf mich sehe. Jetzt soll ich gucken auf meine Videos, ich bin ein bisschen gut, weil ich bin radikal und ich bin ein bisschen nicht so, so dann ist es rustig. Want hij is rustig, so ik is rustig. En dan wil ik zeggen aan every South African, I love you with the love of Christ, I really do. And if you want to be part of this membership, will be what you can afford, and we will take you through it. Every month you will pay a certain amount to be trained. While you're in training, you will go out and train others. At the same time, you will be trained to be an entrepreneur. Or you will be trained in your sphere of whatever you God has called you. It's in 2 Peter um, 10 and 11, where God says you must pursue your calling and your destiny. And it's not just the spiritual one, it's also the flesh one. That's why we're on this journey um, here on earth. So I hope I haven't left anything else. But we need to build this thing and we need to build it very, very fast. Will you please be part of this? Please connect with me. And say, Esther, we want to build a nation. And this train must go. And it's going to stop at every destination. Maybe it's at um, um, Polokwane. Maybe it's in uh, Louis Trichard. Maybe it's in Pretoria. Maybe it's in East London. Maybe it's in PE. Wherever this train must stop. This is where we're going to climb off and do whatever God wants us to do. This is not a flesh train. This is a spiritual train. But we are going to move together and we're going to change our area for Christ. And we're going to take national, which is 200,000. We're going to take provinces. If God is good to us, we'll take all provinces. But as he's spoken to, to me, we're going to take one province, which is 45,000. If we get 650,000, we go full house. But what I'm asking for is one chair represents 48,000 thousand people that believe in this vision that God is giving me for the country. I cannot do this on my own. I keep on saying it. I need a team to back me. I need volunteers to say, Esther, we will work in our area. And then I need volunteers in Pretoria where I am now. Esther, we're with you. I'm in um, Pretoria East. Come and join me. Let's build this thing together. It is time. It is time for us to take this further. And then um, your house. Your business, every area must be a hope, prayer in action. H, house, it could be, as I said, a business. It can be a tree. If you're doing a stock file, you do it under a tree. Why can't you do praise and worship and strategize and praying underneath a tree? We can do that. In your area, you don't look, you have to look for a venue. Just get a few people together and I'll be there. And if I'm not there, there will be other people that will represent me. Because this is just one and we'll speak the same language through the whole thing. This is about you. This is about taking us away from communistic, Marxistic, socialistic methods. And they will take the land if we allow them to take it. If we stand up and say, sorry, this is God's land. And I especially call um, and speak to the Khoi San King. Um, and if there's more than one, please contact me. I need to speak with you and I will try and get hold of you as well. But if you do get this message, will you please contact Esther? And you can do that via all the media that I've, I've mentioned. And yes, um, you can email me, hopeprayerinaction at gmail.com. Please just subscribe on YouTube. You will get all the videos that I broadcast. Twitter will be on there as well. And then I will also let you know where else you will be able to find me. But as I said, it's not about me. I am just the voice that wants to wake you up out of your slumber, out of your sleep. Thank you for listening. I hope this was not too long for you. <clears throat>
But I just want to close off in prayer. Father, I thank you for every person that has been watching. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that we cannot do this without you. Thank you that you take this train and you bring in the people that can afford the coals and each member you bless so that they will be able to be self-sufficient and they will be able to be entrepreneurs in the future. I thank you that this is not just politics, but this is what you said. In the body of Christ, we will move as one, one voice, one language, building each other up, restoring each other. I thank you in your name. Amen. Before I forget, every businessman, please contact me so that we can strategize. You can say what is your product, what you can offer for South Africans, so that the carriages are linked. And Hope just wants to be that link from one carriage to the next. The carriage, one will be family, one will be economics, one will be education. One. There is so much, so much to share with you, but time is limited here. Get to know me and let's strategize together. Love you. You are just as important as me. No one is exempt. Doesn't matter who you are. Don't have to be a leader to join you. God will make you a leader. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. Pray for me. <laughs> I need it. I really do. Thank you. And pray that people will believe that God can change this country in one day. God bless you. Bye-bye.